Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dead State Reanimated. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today as we continue with our journey here by waiting, waiting for the for the rescue here. And Fiona, let's see what happens to her. Hey James, you have to listen to me. She looks exhausted, worried, as if she hasn't slept well in days. You're in danger. They're plotting against you. I know it. Something needs to be done. Who are we talking about, Fiona? They! I can't say their name aloud, they're all here! But now they're in danger, something needs to be done. Isn't there anything you can do? Sleep with a gun under your pillow? Set a watch? Something? I... <clears throat> I, can't, I, can't, I can't stay be beside... I can't stay beside you if you want. This has gone far enough. You need to stop obsessing over me, right now, Fiona. Fiona's eyes go wide. Please! Please, not now. You have to listen to me. There's danger. Don't you see it? I have to save you. You're the one. Don't you know? The one who means everything to me. The one who could save all of us. Civilization, everything. All I have to help. I and I have to help you. Fiona, it's over. I'm not someone to obsess over. I'm not the one for anything. I'm just trying to survive. Hi, you're not. You're not who I thought you were. All of those moments we had, things we shared, you're still in danger and I... Her lips start to tremble and her eyes fill with tears. I can't even look at you. Again? Can't you please stop with that thing? She's gonna... Oh, she's gonna get herself hurt or something. Somebody's, somebody's gonna paint, punch her in the face. Can I punch her in the face? Ugh. Hey, lame. Hey, this is kind of gross, but I think something I ate or drank gave me a case of the hyper shits. I mean, this has gone past mud butt and right on the on to the f flood butt. There's no way I can do anything but let this run its course. You, want, you may want to warn people entering the second floor. Hey, you Yeah, you did the right thing telling me, man. Sorry for laughing. Sorry. Uh, uh, hopefully you will take it fine, though. Eh, you know, shitty talk, shitty conversation, but you can laugh about it, right? I've had that problem. Um, heal up today so you can be good to go tomorrow. Trust me, I want this out of my system even more than you do, but I'll be fresher tomorrow. Ooh, baby's kicking. I gotta go. Oh, man, don't cheat yourself before you reach the bathroom. Damn, that, that guy. Okay, so let's look at our morale for today. Basically, for right now, we're controlling the situation. Sarah is still okay. That is a problem. We got Sarah, Clifford, Lane, and Fiona. They are... No, Lane is already happy. That's great. So who do I need uh, to get on to the relaxation? We got Parisa. Parisa, she's working on something. I'm gonna get Troy. Yeah. If... If he's not, he's not working on something. So, uh, Lane. Okay, so relaxation. Hmm. Oh, something happened. Oh, Lane. Lane is no longer relaxed. Okay, so Parisa, she is going to work at antibiotics. We need those. And I'm going to get Troy. What's he doing? He's not doing anything. Uh, so he's going to relax. There we go. See, it's all good. It's all good. Let's wait a few more. Let's uh, wait more days. Let's look. Let me look at my autosave here. Day 57. Uh, we're holding steady. I think we can reach day 100 if the game takes us there. Uh, I think we'll be fine. Let's see how things develop, though. Uh, so, yes. Uh, 41 morale change. That's good because all negotiations... Eh, things are going better. I also work... Eh, I don't know what I got, actually. Uh, positive morale. Oh, that's the one. Okay. So, I got 6 normal plus 30. No, actually, I got 11 normal plus 30. That's okay. That's all good. Um, so, our mood is holding steady. Fuel usage. Everything is good. Let's continue. Who's that outside? Oh, it's these guys. You guys again? They showed up this morning. They need our help. We're not injured, says Ford. Not our blood. Uh, yeah, to get right to the point, our safe house was ambushed early this morning. We had nowhere else to go. We're seeking asylum here with you. At least until we can figure out another arrangement. What happened to you? It's all kind of a blur. I was sleeping at the time. Harold, well, he was on watch. I woke up after a few, the first shot was fired. I grabbed, I grabbed my kit and pistol and ran out of the room. Arlene here, she pulled me into her room before they spotted me. I saw the flashlights coming down the hall. It sounded like there were at least eight of them. Harold was dead. Warning shots he fired saved our lives. We had no choice but to go out the second story, off the balcony. I wanted to go back to the to, for Isabel, but I don't like that we had to leave her behind, but already, but they already had her, you. Believe me, it was the hardest thing I've have had to do. Anyhow, we made it to one of their cars, Darlene killed the driver. After we got on the road, only place I could think of going was here. Hey man, you guys are, you guys are cool. Yeah, it's unfortunate, I'm sorry. Of course you can stay, yeah, there's no problem. 
Thank you. This means a lot to us, and I promise we'll do everything we can to help you out. I only wish... Don't think about them, you! It's done. They're gone. I know. Well, we've been driving all night. We could use a quick rest. Then we'll get the lay of the land, I guess. Well, after what you've been through, take your time. We'll manage. In case you forgot, this is Darlene. She's, uh... She was the group's bodyguard, you could say. I ain't shit! This here's your man, a good man. You're lucky to have him. Nobody's lucky today. Apologies, I think I mentioned it. My name is U Ulysses Ford. Most people just call me Ford. We can work out nicknames later. I'll, um, yeah, I'll let you get on with your business. Thanks again for this. And Ford and Arlene head into the shelter. You can tell from their heavy heads that they probably could use a day to sleep and recover from the ambush. Yep, I want to talk to them, though. I want to know more about them. Man, I... Psst. Nobody, nobody gets spared out there. Damn, we need to go get those guys anyway. Who the hell are they? Could they be the... No, uh, they probably, some guy, somebody knew. Could they be, I was thinking maybe the guys that we spared. Uh, remember that place that was all on the ground and we didn't go in there? Yeah, maybe that's the one. Um, so yeah, I, I spared that because the Paul is gonna tell us about that. So yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. I don't know what it is gonna be, if they're friends or if they're enemies, but we'll see how things go. Hey, Agar, what's up? Yo, I don't want to be a greedy bitch or anything, but I've been helping out without making a fuss about every little thing, and I think I deserve something extra for that. And if you see my ass, it's even skinnier because of all this exercise and not eating. Oh, are you supposed to be hot? Is she supposed to be hot? I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't look at your ass. I would enjoy to look at your ass, but I can't, not right now, maybe. it's. Oh, wait a minute. She wasn't hot. She was even skinnier, so maybe she didn't have a nice ass. Uh... <laughs> That's a cool one. Um, so, yeah, here's a, th here's a thing, Agro. if I gave extra to some, I would be crucified by the others, we have to share, I can give more to everyone though, I would love to do that, but, mm, alright, I guess that makes sense, not really what I was hoping for, but I didn't think about that angle, well, see you later then, yeah, just eat a lot of cheese, that probably helps, I think, maybe, Hey, Davis, what's up? We've checked all over the shelter for her, but it seems that Fiona ran off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, wrote something in, in blood on the... Oh, crap. In blood on the hallway floor. It's cleaned off now, really. Just sort of rambling, but it was pretty unnerving. He pauses awkwardly. It, it's good she's gone, but really pretty unnerving. Yeah. Can I... Can you tell me what she wrote? Yeah, sorry about that. At least she won't be an issue here anymore. Yeah, she was getting a little bit weird. Uh, hey, hey, Hefram. Hey, I know I'm, I'm good at what I do, but I feel like my skills should be worth way more. I want a bigger cut. Ten Why does everyone want a bigger cut? You guys want all need more? I'm going to give you more. To everybody, not just to you. Hmm. I could, or maybe I can. Let's talk to Davis after this thing. Uh, let's see, 10 rations ought to cut it for now. Uh, well, if everyone asked for more, do you think we'd have any food? No, we have to think for the long term, or we won't last. I still don't know if I'm going to stay here long term. You might be right, but it sure doesn't feel right to me. Well, if you're not going to stay here, then all the more reason not to give you. Yeah, just, yeah, sure. And he walks off. Hey, Michuri! Michiru, Michuri, why did I say Michuri? Oh, Michi, Michuri is a nice, it's a nice nickname. Michicha, Michicha. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, I need to talk to you for doctor, uh, to, uh, for making better uh, cutting. Uh, okay, I need more information though. I, I, I am do better job, but not have, have uh, the good cutting. It is necessary for great success. Nani, how do you say, uh, yeah, cutting, you mean for surgery, yeah, you, you need better tools. Yes, yes, tools, uh, surgery tools, uh, for doctor that make surgery, uh, very important, many people I better make, I uh, very better. Uh, surgical tools, huh, okay, that would make things easier, I'll look for some, I have some down there. You give me, I make better surgery, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see if I can find any, I'll talk later. Hey, little guy, what's up? That guy is lovely, that dog. 
coming all after me up here and sleeping with me all that. Hopefully he doesn't really smell or anything. He's a wild dog, so he probably would. Yeah. Anyway, it's unique. We got uh, surgical tools over there. And there we go. Get that. And I got some bourbon. Do I need to... Does anybody... Oh, wait a minute. Did I need... Oh, dang it. Sarah... Oh, yeah, we need to talk to these guys. Sarah, Ulysses, and Darlene. So Sarah is going to be the only one that's... That's spared from the relaxation cut. Uh, Troy is going to stay there as well. So let's go ahead and get them there. Job. Uh, so relaxation. Clifford leaves. Can he do something else? Can he shoot? He likes shooting, doesn't he? Yeah, go right ahead. That might help. Okay, they can't do anything. Uh, well, in that case, let me see if I can get somebody. Uh, there's a lot of them. Let's see. You got Jody and Lloyd. Let's go with those two. Uh, job. Jody, where are you, man? There it is. Uh, Jody and Lloyd, where are you? Lloyd? Dang it, I need to order this by, by name. Why didn't I do that before? Lloyd might be doing something else, though, I think. Oh, he's got no job. That's good. Okay. Uh, so, what did I need to do? To do list? Uh, I need to go to Michiru. She should be in the... No, she. I don't know where she is. She could be here. But I have no idea where she is. I'm gonna need to check. Uh, so Michiru is a custodian. She can't be a custodian. Uh, so who's who's a nurse right now? A nurse is Amy. Amy, can you self-train defense? That's good. Michiru, you can be a doctor. Yeah, I know. Uh, and um, Renee. Was it Renee that I took? She's down here. Renee? Nope, she's a doctor. Amy! Yeah, that was Amy. Okay, I, I mixed those two up. They're kind of... Yeah, that's why I was looking up here. So she's not gonna do that. She's gonna do a custodian. And that's gonna be that. Okay, well, let's see if I can find Michiru. She should be over here. That's her right there. Hello. Uh, so what do you want? I found the surgical tools you wanted. Yes, this is good for surgery tool. How, how do Ryan say? Awesome. I make surgery very success. Now he's doctor. No, I am the job better. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope it helps. See ya. There it is. That's our job done. Did I uh, get any skills? No, I did not. Okay, let's go to bed again because that's what we do these days. Yes, I want to end the day. Uh, so let's talk with the new guys tomorrow. Actually, they are going to be since they weren't available yesterday. Okay, so we got new guys. That's probably a bonus, I think, for new characters. I think there's one for new new guys. Uh, 47, that's good. Our food is holding okay. Still above 3,000, that's good. Hey, Elaine, it's been a long while since we talked. What's going on with you? We've helped a fair number of people now, she says. I'm glad. I've talked to a lot of them, and I think I've helped. I didn't think I would make much of a difference, but I guess you were right. I really want to thank you for letting me get this far. Despite how things are day-to-day, -day, I'm glad I was able to do something to atone for the crash. How many days has it been? Never gone this long without telling some people how to put on a life jacket. A few months ago, I was worried about a plane full of people dying, and now I've probably seen enough dead people to uh, fill a cruise ship. Maybe I should feel better about them. They only had to endure a few seconds of horror. I mean, do you ever wish it had ended right there and there? No. Nah. I'll go out of this world tearing and gnashing to cling on to my shitty life. Yeah, I guess that's why most people seem to follow you then. Maybe they see that, uh, maybe they see that and hope that some of that fury will extend to them. Maybe. You're the strongest person I know, James. I don't know how you do it. Well, thanks. You survived this long. That probably says something about you two. Oh, uh, maybe. I mean, maybe I've just been lucky. I really hope it's not luck. Yep. Hi, Amy, says Clifford. Um, something you need? Uh, yeah, you could say that. So, what exactly? You know, I I saw you at dinner the other day. You looked lonely. Are you... Are you? Because I could help? Uh, yeah, that's nice and all of you to notice, but I'm fine. Hey, Amy, can I uh, pull you away for a second? I got something I need to help you with. Oh, says Clifford. Uh, sorry, gotta go. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I... Yeah, sure. Sure. And the soundtrack there was weird. What the hell was that? Hey, Darlene. Oh, she's still carrying all that stuff. That's okay. So, welcome. Welcome. Okay. 
You may have talked you into holding up here, but I'm going to tell you just that once anything happens to him as a result of your decisions, you and me are going to have it out. You has gotten us through some tough times. I always have his back. Best remember that. So what can I do to set your mind at ease, Darlene? Use a doctor, not a killer. Despite what he might l tell you, he can't take bloodshed, even to save his own life. It weighs on him. So if you should ever take him with you, I want to be there. If anything happened to that man, I'd never forgive myself. Or you. You must really love them. It goes far beyond that. The man's good for the world the way it is. People like him, we're going to need them someday when we put our shit back together. If I can't protect him, I don't have much hope for what comes next. Yeah, I understand. You have my word. Good. That's all I needed to hear. And she walks off. Hey, Nathan. Oh, I don't know if I can even hold my head up today. For a long time, I've been thinking about what we'll all do when this all goes away. How good it'll be for everything to go back the way it was. I'm starting to think, what if it doesn't? Man, I don't even know if my girls are alive. What if... What if... I just can do it. Not today. Hey, I promise... I promise you, if you keep your mind occupied on work, you'll feel better. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to try. I'll... Go get ready. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's important. Hey, Troy. Hey, um, uh, so I really appreciate you talking, taking me, uh, in here back when, uh, when things weren't so great for me. Uh, and I've done a good job earning respect and becoming one of the most important people here, I'd say. So I think it's only fair that I get a title for my efforts, something that makes everyone know just how badass I am. Like, uh, if someone was bragging, I could step in and go, uh, nah, uh, I ain't no one better than, uh, better at that than this guy right here. Hmm. Mmm, that's... <laughs> Mega racist. <laughs> Bubba Supreme, master of mullets. What? What's mullets? What's a mullet? Isn't that a... Yeah, that's what he has, isn't it? Yeah. It's MacGyver. It's the MacGyver guy. It's the MacGyver. Anyway. Um... How about... No, no. Uh, let's see. Gains a higher... T oh, I can... Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the harvester. How about the harvester? That's gonna be good. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take that. After all, no one here knows wild plants like me. Well, except for me. Uh, I'll leave up to that. You'll see. I spot anything edible. I'm grabbing it. Yep. Go get him, Troy. Now let's get to work. Hey, Vic. What's up? So, that Darlene's quite an addition to the place. Got to, uh, got to talking to her in the cafeteria and, well, I said something about meeting up for drinks later. Just realized that I polished off the last of my whiskey. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I grabbed a bottle from storage, would you? <laughs> I hate to disappoint a lady. Okay, well, you can take it, but uh, just remember the, ne the next time I need your help. Deal? Well, you know, I appreciate this. And who knows, maybe tomorrow morning I'll feel even more in debt. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, keep this between you and me, of course. Yeah, just a bottle is fine. A bottle is fine. I probably would, would have preferred... I need to talk to... Well, that's her right there. Uh, she does look nice. Yeah. I suppose. She's a little bit... Uh, I don't know, scraggly, look at that, she's not, eh, I guess, you know, portraits and all that sort of stuff, it doesn't really show. Hey, need something? Yeah, so anything that would improve your mood? We didn't have anything but the essentials at our old safe house, but if there's anything I really missed, it's real bourbon. And could also use some hot sauce to help the powdered eggs go down easier. Yeah, I'll take a I have bourbon for you, if you want. So, what's the deal with you and Ford? Oh, the man's a saint, that's about it. Never knew no one like him before. First time we met, he was trying to save people from a car crash. Except, uh, he didn't know they were dead yet. It was still new. If I hadn't come along, I... Anyway. He needed, he needed me to survive, and I guess he taught me there was... Still some good in this piece of shit world. I used to think people were lousy tippers. Now I know they're fucking animals. Not you, though. I mean, Ulysses. Ulysses. Man like that. Hard to believe he's from the, uh, same species. Yeah, so you didn't know him before all of this? Me? Nah. Two very different worlds, I'd imagine. Spent most of my life as a waitress at those places you pass by but never stop in. Figured I was set to die in one. Then one day, a regular comes in and just about tries to flip up my skirt over my head. Well, the owner had none of that and, well, he pulled him off, gets a knife for, to the gut for it. I went for the gun in my purse, shoot him, shot him, guy goes down, then a couple minutes later he keeps coming. Owner tries to tackle him, poor Raj. He didn't know it would rip him open. Finally got lucky with a gun to his head. Was too late for Raj. Begged me to kill him. I guess I haven't been a waitress since. Man. Um. Yeah, I was thinking, is she 
does she really love Ford, or is it just, you know, platonic? Because Vic seemed to have his hopes up. Hopefully it goes well for him, but... Yeah. So, um, what would you like to see at the shelter? Be good to get some kids around? That's the mother in me, I guess, but if you're... If you're talking about blowing off stress, I could use a target range. Archery used to be kind of help me forget the, the assholes who would just get free coffee refills and nothing else. Glad they're dead. Yeah. Okay, I need to talk to Paul. He's got to be somewhere around. Let's see what I can do to them, or for them, rather. Um, so I am going to need to get them both in relaxation. Let's look at how things are going. So that's Darlene and Sarah. And I'm going to get Jody. Oh, actually, we have Oscar and Bud. Okay, Darlene, Sarah, Oscar, and Bud. So let's see. Uh, so we got uh, relaxation. Okay, so you stop that. Yes. Uh, Lane, you stop that. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not it. This is down here. Okay, Troy, you stop that. And uh, <clears throat> Lloyd, you stop that. And then I settle this over here. Darlene, Sarah. Oh, where's Darlene? Darlene is up here. Darlene. Sarah, Oscar is down here, but Oscar is with me. Yeah, well, it's, it's gonna be fine. Uh, Oscar and... Who? Who else was it? Uh, so it was Oscar and Bud. Yeah, Bud. Uh, Bud, where are you, man? You're up here, right? Yep, yeah, he is. Oh, he's in a f oh, he's farming. Okay, Let's see if I can get uh, Clifford over here. Nope. Clifford, don't farm. Got Craig. Craig can do that. We're good. So let's. Uh, so what do, I, do I need to talk? To, do I need to do anything today? I don't think so. Uh, recover system. No. Re recover medicine for Jennifer at the strong resonance. I did that already. Dang it. Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, I need. Yeah, I need to do something. I need to. So I talked to Darlene. I need to find. Oh, she's gonna be upstairs. I need to find. Uh, no, you guys didn't change yet. Let's go to, let's go, let's just wait a few hours here and that should be enough. Let's go over here and wait one hour. It's gonna set up everybody, I think. No, they're still hanging around. Uh, I'm looking for Ford. Ford, where is he? Is that him? No, that's Todd. We got Sarah, that's Ephraim. It's a weird name. Never heard that name. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's probably like a very specific, culturally relevant name or something. Let's go upstairs. So we got Lloyd over there. Where the hell's Ford? The hell is the guy? It's Clifford. It's not Ford. You? Where the hell is you? It's Bud sleeping. Bud is just sleeping all over the place. He never does anything. What the hell's wrong with Bud? I mean, he doesn't do anything because I don't tell him to do anything, but it's weird. He might be bugged. Uh, let's go downstairs. Maybe he's down there. Uh, that's my dog. That's Grant. And there's nobody here, so I have no idea where where he is. Well, I could leave if I wanted to. That's gonna reset them for sure. So let's leave. Let's go. Uh, let's get out of here for a little bit. Could get some food as well. That's probably gonna help a little bit with morale. Get some peaches or strawberries. If I find some, I do turn up the. I can't. Damn it! I'm not. Am I still working on the apocalypse armor? Dang it. Okay. It's a shame. Okay. Let's try and spend a day here. Maybe he's over there. It's Nathan. Uh, let's spend the day here. And I'm not working on the apocalypse armor, am I? James. James, no job in party. Okay, I wasn't. Uh, so I need to look for... Ulysses is in there! Hey, man! Why are you in here, man? Hey, what can I do for you? So anything that would improve your mood? I could all use some coffee, uh, some good coffee beans. I need to be ready to go on the call, uh, on call at any time. And in my downtime, I could use a bit of grass to calm down. I know I'm a doctor and it's shocking, but trust me, it's better habit than cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, can I talk to you? Are you uh, and Darlene a couple? Darlene? Me? Nah. She saved my life. Back before I really knew what we were dealing with. We're two people that needed to meet each other if we were going to survive. She's been a protector and confidant ever since. I know she can be difficult, but she means well and she's adapted to all of this in ways I haven't been able to. Did you lose any family along the way? I lost them a long time ago. Here's a of being a lousy husband and father. Must have learned something from my mistakes to be no nominated as a leader. Huh. So you were the leader, huh? Oh yeah, you were. Uh, so how did you end up with the group? Well, at first it was just me and Darlene. We picked up more survivors as we traveled from place to place, exhausting resources and moving on. I was readily seen as the leader of the group, probably just a natural instinct to see the doctor as a, an authority figure. We didn't lose many, but then we played it safe and only ventured out when we absolutely had to. 
Gradually it became obvious there was no one coming to save us, and I think that's when the burden of leadership felt the heaviest. If it wasn't for this place, well, let's not think about that. Yeah. So, uh, any upgrades you'd like to see here? Well, as long as I have a space to treat patients and fresh water, that's, that's going to make it a huge, make a huge difference in keeping people alive. These days, even minor injuries can get us killed if we're not careful. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, tell me... No, I don't need that. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. So, hopefully things will be better for tomorrow. Um, and, uh, well, let's end another day. Actually, so I can't... I didn't get... We'll see what day it is. Yes, I want to go to bed. Day 59. Okay, okay. So, in how many episodes? Six episodes? We've gone through about 20 days, I think. Six episodes? Yeah, that's probably about it. Uh, and we got minus 12. Yeah. We got minus 12 morale. I don't know what lost is that morale, but we got, yeah, that's the... Uh, yeah, the allies with okay mood. It's getting heavy and heavier. It's okay. Everything is still under control. We got plenty of morale to afford. Hey, aggro. I've been working in the gardens whenever I get a chance, she says. It's all coming back. Which plants make good companions, soil types, coaxing plants to fruit. I could probably do a lot more with it, but... It's going to take a lot of time and work and monitoring all of it. I think I could be better, uh, much better, I could get much better yields, but on the other hand, I do like the thrill of being in danger, beating ass and all that. I don't know, what do you think I should focus on? Yeah, on garden. You obviously have a talent for it and we could always use extra food. You got it. It's funny. Never thought I'd be tending a garden again or so happy doing it. Next full day on garden, I should be able to increase yields a bit. Okay, we'll be able to remember that. I will be sure to remember that. Uh, actually, I could start planning it all right, right now. A lot of work. I'll run you through it. I'll run you through it later. Yep, you do that. Hey, Ford, what's up? Hey, do you have a minute? First of all, I just want to thank you again for taking us in. Hey, no problem. I think I should come clean. I took care of my people over the last few months, and I did everything I could, but I don't want to be a leader anymore. I made the tough call because uh, tough calls because someone had to, but it took everything out of me. You probably know what I mean. Well. Yeah. You don't have to say a word. I can't even begin to relate to what keeping a place like this is going to be like. What I wanted to say is that I just want to be a doctor again, to focus on helping people. That's what I do best. Yeah, great. You, you don't know how much of a difference that will make around here. I'll do what I can. Even with the best tools, there's a limit to what I can do outside of a real hospital. Well, I'm sure you'll make a huge difference, man. Yeah, I'll get started right away. By the look of some of the of those scars, it looks like you could use a checkup yourself. In the meantime, I'll go and take an inventory uh, of the shelter's medical supplies. Yeah, I'll come by and see you later, Ford. Uh, so that's two guys that we need to set up. So basically, that's Agro, and that is Ford. I need to remember that. Hey, Priscilla, is there something to help you sleep? Uh, she asks. I just can't do it lately. I mean. I try not to let stuff under my skin, I, I do, but all I can think about lately is that poor police lady. We'd surely been lost without her, and I know Todd said, said God must have brought her to us in our time of need. Still, I, th I feel like we should, have made, we should have maybe said a word or two about her. What police lady? She found us after our group was ambushed by dead people. We were separated. I ran after Todd for, seemed like, miles. That's when she spotted us on the road. She said she'd heard about a school that was taking in survivors. She tried to give us directions, but Todd begged her to come with us. But, uh, yeah, things didn't work out so well. What do you mean? She was taking us in her car when we hit something. It was early morning, so we couldn't tell what it was, and she said she was going out for a look. A few minutes later, I heard something and screaming and shooting. Todd just tells me we got to go, and he took the car. I looked back, and the police lady, she was fighting off two people. I can still hear her begging us for, to help. I feel sick to my stomach. I don't feel it was the right... It was, uh, it was right no more. I just need to sit and pray to, today, I think. Yeah. You should work through your guilt. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry, I even told you. Oh, yeah, she wanted... She wanted to... Yeah. Yeah, but that's... Uh, it's it's tricky. She needs to. She she'll be able to. She'll be able to. Yeah. She'll grow. She will grow as a character, as a person. I'm sure she will be able to. Uh, I'm 100% sure I have a group A streptococcal infection. See the swollen lymph nodes? Uh, do you mean you have a sore throat? Yep, sort of. 
Um, I thought it's sore. I got a headache and my uh, body temperature is abnormal. Also, you can probably tell I'm straining my voice. It's pretty infectious. I should probably avoid people for the next 24 hours. Yeah, it'll set us back, but I'll quarantine you. Thank you for bringing it to my, to my attention. I'm glad you understand. In a closed environment like this, the chances of passing on the bacteria is... Well, you can probably figure it out. See you tomorrow. Yep. And, well, I guess I'll see you all guys tomorrow as well because we are out of time for the day. So, I'm Colonel RPG and this has been Bad State Reanimated. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.